Dr. Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing Today. I'm in San Jose at the eMetrics Conference here with Chris Kearns, who's an expert in analytics of all kinds, which is real technical, but I want to talk about a kind of a practical subject today of how to measure the effect of uh, the web on offline sales. Let's say you have a local store where you, you sell things. How do you, how do you measure your online marketing effect on what happens in your store? Sure. Uh, there's, a, there's a couple different ways to do it. There's no tool out there that's going to measure um, somebody walking into your store from the web. Uh, it, it's not that, uh, that connected yet. But the, a lot of the methods that we use with our larger enterprise clients uh, can also be used for small and medium-sized businesses. Sure. Uh, the, the first thing you need to do is make sure that your website is set up with your goals in mind. If you have a goal of selling, uh, driving people to uh, an offline store, you need to make sure your website's set up correctly to do that. You need to make sure that the product information is there uh, enough to entice them to come in. Mm -hmm. There's cues on how to find the store, uh, hours, uh, locations, that mm -hmm. sort of thing. So this could be product sales, could be a restaurant? Sure. Yeah. Uh, it could be anything. Um, you know, uh, the easiest thing to do um, uh, as far as tying the data one-to-one -one would be the coupon system. That, obviously, that's, that's um, a, a bit of a nuisance in the background to, to make sure you're keeping track of that. But you could you could. But how might that work? Well, you, you have a sheet where you print out a coupon. You have a, a unique identifier. You know somebody. It's the only place you can get it on the web. So you can, you can tie it one-to-one -to, -one to somebody seeing it on the site and then walking in and handing it to you. Now, are there tools that I could I put onto my website that would print out a... A coupon with a unique identifier? Uh, yes, there are tools out there. I don't, I don't know the names of them off. off okay. Uh, so, so that would be one direct way to do it. Another way to do it would be to I, do... Um, I, I suppose, just thinking about that, yeah. is it would be easy to put a date stamp on a coupon without mm -hmm. any special, uh, special tools at all. Mm -hmm. So you can tell the date and the URL of exactly where they are. You could print that right in your coupon. You could. Uh, just and, a programmer you, can figure out how to do that really simply. Absolutely, you could, you could track all that and then you could also use uh, web analytics to track how many people are going there and seeing it. And then you could track the conversion of it, right? Okay. 50 people printed it out, uh, only 20 brought it in. Uh, maybe the coupon's not enough. Maybe you should go from 20% to 25% or whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. um, are, are there analytical tools, does Google Analytics tell when someone prints out a uh, a coupon? Uh, you can have a distinct print dialog. So you say print, and it brings up a, a print-friendly version, okay. and that's one impression you okay. can track that. So there's I'm tricks around I'm, I'm learning some tricks. <laughs> okay, so coupons is one approach to sure. this, and then they bring the coupon in, yep. uh, and we t we'll talk about tracking that in a minute. Now, so what's another approach? Well, another approach would be um, uh, nice and simple to, to ask them. Uh, that's what we do with a lot of our larger enterprise clients. Uh, take Ford, for example. We do all the digital that analytics. doesn't sound very technical. <laughs> it's not. Um, uh, but it can get technical, actually. Uh, we, we, try, we do all the digital analytics for Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury okay. vehicles. You can't buy cars online. Right. Uh, the purpose of those, of those sites mm -hmm. is to drive people into the dealerships to, to buy. Uh, so we could use a coupon system. We don't. Uh, what we use to, to, to track uh, online behaviors to offline are uh, post-sale surveys. So after they buy a car, uh, we have a very specific language around did you go to the site, did it, influence, did it have an influence on your decision to buy, did you use these specific features? Um, and then we can, uh, we can round up the numbers and track back how effective so our, our site is. So a post-sale survey yes. is one approach. Yes. Now I suppose you could train your salespeople when you get to the cash register to ask how did you learn about our store? Yeah, in a small, medium-sized business, it can be that that anecdotal, not conversational, and just you know, you're, you're keeping a, a book uh, behind the register, and you're just hitting a tick mark every time somebody says yes. Or maybe you have a button on your register if you're really technical. Or if you're really technical, you ask uh, if they say they have been to the site. You ask what they like and what they don't like about it. You start getting more information mm -hmm. from them. Mm -hmm. How easy was it to find the store based on what's in the, in the site? Or maybe you could give them the coupon, uh, earn $5 next time you come in by filling out our survey. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, another way to do it would be around social media and listening. So there's all these conversations going out there, uh, on out there with, uh, say, Twitter and Facebook. People could be talking about your site and your store. Uh, and if you're not listening, then you could be missing out on those. People could be saying, hey, this site, I can't, I can't find the store information, or went to the site, then went to the store, uh, or even just talking about the offline experience. If they're, if they're on Facebook and they're talking about your store, um, they've probably been to your site as well. So let's say I measure all this and, and figure out what the effect of my online 
marketing, uh, a website, uh, social media, whatever it is, mm -hmm. uh, my local listing on, uh, on Google Maps or whatever it is, so what? Yeah. So what does, that, what does that help me do? What, what's the next step then? Well, you can see what's effective, what's not effective. Uh, you, can, you can try, say, local advertising. Um, uh, where there would be more of an investment there. Getting, getting listed on, on Google Maps is, I believe, relatively free. So it's, it's free. Um, uh, the so what there would just be like, okay, that was a good decision, but there's no return on investment because there was no investment. Mm -hmm. um, but it would encourage you to do more of those activities online. Uh, and, if and, and figure out what's working, what's not. Exactly, and to do the right things for your customers. You get to know more about your customers if you understand their online uh, experiences as well. Now, it sounds like the statistics we get out of something like this are kind of fuzzy. Yeah. Is it still worth doing? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, with enough scale, fuzzy becomes pointed. But with small and medium-sized businesses, um, it, there's going to be some guesswork. There's going to be some analysis. Um, sure. But you can test. Uh, you know, you can test different coupons and see which one works. You can feed different coupons to different people as they come in and, and see which one gets handed in more. Different offers. Um, uh, you can try different methods. You can try different channels. Maybe, maybe the moms you're trying to bring into your restaurant aren't on Twitter. They're on Facebook. You can try the different channels out. While you're at it, I would think this is a great time to start an email list of your customers so that you can sure. market them again and again directly, the ones that are used to buying from you. Absolutely, yeah. And then you have a direct channel of uh, communication with them as long as you don't break that trust. And um, you know, there's, uh, there's group buying that's coming up now, the Groupon and, and, uh, and other lists that come out with, you know, it, they, they help spread the word. Um, with marketing, that would be more of an investment, but something that uh, small and medium-sized businesses can try um, to, to, again, bridge digital to uh, physical. Well, thanks so much for sharing with us. Tell me about your business and what you do. Great. Zaz is a uh, full-service interactive agency. We're uh, headquartered in Seattle, and uh, we have design, development, uh, analytics, optimization, strategy, all for interactive. Very good. Thanks so much. This is Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing.